A24 has made lots of frightening flicks over these last few years, such as The Witch, Hereditary, The Lighthouse, and of course Midsommar. And I just saw their brand new one, Saint Maud, which premiered on Epics earlier this year, despite it failed to come to our theaters last year because of the pandemic. And it just now came up to Amazon Prime for members for free. But is this recent psychological horror flick as good and scary as the critics say it is? Or does it just need to be put in a big tub of holy water? Find out right now in this spoiler-free review. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of Saint Maud, which was originally produced in 2019 and it came out in Britain, but it was supposed to come to us last year, but they failed and failed because of the pandemic, as I mentioned earlier, but it finally came to us not so long ago, earlier this year. Anyway, the film was released by A24 in our neck of the woods, along with Epix, the movie channel, and by Studio Canal elsewhere, in, including in England. The film focuses on a hospice nurse who is a recent co convert from to Roman Catholicism, Catholic, Catholicism who becomes obsessed with a former dancer in her care, believing she must save her soul. Now, I will say that this film is really something. Well, apparently, A nurse named Kate fails to save the life of a patient in her care despite attempting CPR, and sometime later, now re Kate, now referring to herself as Maud, has become a devout Roman Catholic and is working as a private care nurse in an English seaside town. She is assigned to care for Amanda, a dancer and choreographer from the U.S. who is terminally e ill with stage 4 lymphoma. But anyway... Well, she isn't. I mean, it is embittered by her fate and confesses to Maud that she fears the oblivion of death. And Maud comes to believe that God has tasked her with saving the atheist uh, Amanda's soul. And, we, and she reveals to Amanda that she sometimes feels God's presence, and so they appear to be overcome with ecstasy as they pray together. That's all I'm going to tell you about this story. I'm not giving the whole thing away because this is a spoiler-free review. Well, from what I've seen, it's pretty good in ways. And I agree with what critics and what have you on the direction of this. This was directed by Rose Glass in her feature directorial debut. as she also wrote this. And... I do like the atmosphere of the film and the, the score as well, which was done by M. Bozowski. The cast is pretty good too, with Morphide Clark as Maud and Jennifer L. as Amanda, plus several others Lily Knight, Lily Fraser, Tarlo Convery, Rosie Sansom, Marcus Hunt, Carl Prickup, Noah. Bodner. Anyway, this film, I kind of was me expecting it to be, I don't know what I would think of, considering I had seen some of the A24 horror flicks I mentioned earlier, since I've already reviewed The Midsommar and The Lighthouse last year, but anyway, this was a first time watch. I will say it is kind of strange, but it's good in ways, so I consider it to be good, good in ways. Now, I did have some downsides with this movie. Despite this ran at about 84 minutes, this kind of starts off as a slow burn, what have you, and, well, about halfway through the movie is where it'll, it picks up steam and what have you. Uh, so anyway, I feel like this... Just could have used a tiny bit of spin polish on the the 
the pace. It kind of starts out as a slow burn, Miley, but it gets a little frightening later on, though. Yeah. Now, and the ending, which is kind of strange, but however, it's really shocking and what have you. But I'm not tell you how the ending goes, because this is a spoiler-free review, and I'm not giving you that. Mm -mm. Nope, you're going to have to just see the movie, <laughs> and what have you. I think St. Maude is pretty good. I mean, while it almost comes out to being as frightening as films like The Witch, or Midsommar, or heck, even Hereditary, I will say it's, it's well, reasonable in ways, because... It kind of shocked me in a little bit. It almost gave me a bit of a jump scare at the at the last second. But that's about all I, I'm going to tell you and what have you. But I will tell you that this is just a shocking flick in my view. I mean, I mean, if you're into some of these... To this, I've read that um, Danny Boyle, who's a director, he described the film as a genuinely unsettling and intriguing film, striking, affecting, and wonderfully funny at times. It's factual in a way, and its confidence evokes the XC of films such as Carrie, The Exorcist, or heck, even Under the Skin, which of course was also released by A24. But anyway, it mostly got some pretty good response. It's at about um, 93% on the tomato mirror on Rotten Tomatoes. So, I'd say give St. Ma a try. I think you might enjoy it. It is kind of, like I said, it's a bit of a slow burn about the first half, a little over the first half of the movie. But when it gets this to halfway through it picks up steam and what have you so it's pretty shocking and what have you but the ending is more shocking than you can imagine so anyway i did like saint mod and i'm gonna give this film four stars on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it an 8.5 because of well enjoying the atmosphere the cast the, the the directing of rose glass and of course the score of this so, if you've seen Saint Maud, please tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Click the like button below, subscribe to my channel, be a part of the Big D Nation. And also, again, you can find, the film is now available. If you don't have Epics, you can watch it on Amazon Prime for free if you're a Prime member. So, that's how I got to see it. So anyway, just tell me what you thought about this film, if you've seen it already. Thanks for watching. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of the disaster classic flick known as, well, the classic disaster flick. Sorry, I got words mixed up. Airport. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, check out my reviews of these other two, these two films I just mentioned in the video. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Midsommar, or Midsommar as I called it at first. The upper right-hand corner is my review of The Lighthouse, or if you just want... Something else, see the my recent Thrill Me Thursday witch horror contribution I did yesterday in the bottom left-hand corner. The bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.